Hello and welcome to the Caffeinated Castons YouTube channel. My name is Therese, also known as Caffeinated Castons, where you can find me on Instagram as at Caffeinated Castons. Um, hi, welcome. <laughs> I clearly haven't had my coffee yet. Literally just finished making this cup of coffee. I've got in my little elephant mug here. Um, welcome. <laughs> I am Therese. I am the face behind Caffeinated Castons. I am a North Texas based knitter. I've been knitting for three years now, a little more than three years. And this is my YouTube channel where I essentially, it's like a video version of Ravelry project pages. So if you're on Ravelry, um, I do link project pages down below in the description box. So those are there for you to reference. Um, but yeah, I'm just sharing my making and I'm so excited that you're here. Very foamy. <laughs> uh yeah so if you're new here well hold on let me back up today is <laughs> it is friday august 9th it's the end of the week we made it this week felt like a long one but we made it through um so if you are new if you're just joining stumbling across my channel i'm in the middle of summer sock camp right now and unintentionally with August knitting plans of clearing my needles. Um, so I do have last week's video, uh, last week's episode was uh, my August knitting plans along with kind of like a July wrap up. So if you do wanna catch up, you can watch that video. Um, but let's, let's get into what I've been working on this past week. I do have one finished object from this past week and it is a pair of socks. These are part of socks that I'm working on towards summer sock camp, which if you don't know what summer sock camp is, it's just a make along hosted by the crazy sock lady. You can look her up on YouTube or Instagram, um, but it's going all summer long. August is the last month that ends, um, at the end of August. <laughs> so there's still time to join in. Uh, but yeah, this is my latest finished object and it's this pair of scrappy socks, which I just love how the colors blended together. Um, really excited about these and just love the colors in this. Um, I worked these on nine inch circulars. I did a German twisted cast on for the cuff. I always do that for my cuffs just because it does give a little bit more stretch. I think I did 20 rounds of two by two ribbing. And then I did add a row of pearls at the end before switching. And then 30 rounds for the leg, 60, 65 rounds for the foot and then a heel flapping gusset in contrasting color. Um, essentially each stripe is just 10 10 rounds. Yeah, so work these on nine inch circular, even the heel flapping gusset, picking up gusset stitches, decreasing back down. I just switched back to magic loop once I worked the toe, um, or once I got to the toe to work the toe in magic loop. So that is my one finished object. I haven't blocked these, I usually don't block my vanilla socks, those are pretty straightforward. If it has some texture or patterning I'd like to lay down better, then I will block my socks, but most of the time, once I weave in the ends, they're good to go. I did have some leftovers. I need to clean out this project bag. So just a little bit left of that contrast color. I'm gonna throw that in my magic knot ball. I've got all my snipped ends from weaving in ends and then just little bits and bobs from the colors so i had them split up from sock one and sock two these were just three 20 gram mini oh i just dropped them all over the floor <laughs> hold on so these are just three 20 gram mini skeins that I split as evenly as possible. So I would knew I'd have enough for each sock. And 
Let me see, use my yarn scale. Oh goodness, I'm a mess. I need to drink more coffee. <laughs> but let's see. I've got probably like three to four, between three and five grams, um, just of varying weights left over in these. So I'm just gonna throw these into the Magic Knot Ball as well, just because it's such a smaller amount. Um, what else? Yep, so the yarn, the pink and the blue are Twisted Ambitions yarns. And on my Ravelry project page, I actually titled this project Scrappy Songs um, because of the names for these two colorways, which the pink one um, is Full For You and then the blue one is I Will Follow You Into The Dark. I think, yeah, I'll, f I'll follow you into the dark. Um, but those are, I don't know if it's intentional if this is what it's supposed to be, but they're songs. Like this one is like, I Will Follow You Into the Dark by Death Cab for Cutie. And then Full For You, AKA Linger, um, is a song by the Cranberries. And so I don't know if that's what the theme or where the colorway inspiration was pulled from, but I'm a fan. I love it. <laughs> So yeah, I will officially clean out this project bag here a little bit later today, just cause I need to get everything sorted in its spot. And then I've got just like a loose pair of needles in there, but that is my finished object for it this past week. For my whip this week, I have my Cali Vada Shaw by Casey Knits. Oh, and that sock pattern, I just follow, um, the crazy sock lady she's got tutorials on her youtube channel of how to knit socks um but it's just her vanilla socks on nine inch circulars she also has one for magic loop and i believe dpns um so just those different methodologies of knitting the socks so highly recommend her as a resource <coughs> okay uh so my whip is the cali vada shawl and I've picked this back up since finishing other projects. Um, this one is like a slow <laughs> and steady project because it is a, what is it? A right triangle shawl. So you start super small and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And each round takes a little bit longer each time and cause you're increasing the whole time. Um, so it's one of those where I feel like I'm knitting on it for so long. Like when I sit down in like a knitting session and then I look at my progress creeper and I have hardly moved. Um, so this is where I was last week whenever I moved my stitch marker up. So maybe just barely, like maybe under an inch of work. Um, so I've still got a little while to go but I just love the yarn so much and I can't wait to finish this. Um, that way it's ready for whenever it eventually gets cooler here in Texas. The yarn I am using is Mace of Skeins. I can't remember if this base is redone or not, but this was on her club fingering. She's redone all her bases. I don't know if all of them, some of them. Maybe the spade is what I'm thinking of. But anyways, you can find that out uh, through her website, Instagram, her socials, all that. Um, but the this was part of a kit that I bought at Fiberfest a few years ago. And the colors are Rodeo Queen and Dirty Cowboy, which I just love these colors together so much. It did come with a third skein in the kit which was a blue color. I don't remember what that one was called, but I ended up using it for a beanie for my son. Um, yep. So not too much progress on this. This is going to be a slow and steady whip. Um, it is one of my goals to finish it this month in August. Um, it also just is going to take some love and attention. So I think that's going to be my primary knitting project now. Um, like that'll be the thing I reach for 
first before I reach for other things. I do have a new cast on for this week and I'm excited that I was able to cast this on and I love it so much. <laughs> so let me show you. So since summer sock camp does end this month, I did want to squeeze in one more pair of socks since I did finish that scrappy pair. And last week I did finish another pair. Um, so I wanted to work in one more pair this month. And so I have those in a project bag. This is just an old project bag from like maybe two years ago, the Stephen West make along. I learned that those are not for me, um, but it's a good bag. <laughs> but I am working a pair of vanilla socks and I cast these on yesterday and I'm obsessed. So let me look at that. How fun are these socks. So I am working some vanilla socks on nine inch circulars cuff down. Um, so again, just following crazy sock ladies pattern. Um, working on nine inch circular. I did a shorter cuff on these. Um, typically I'll do like maybe 20 to 25. On the rye socks, I did 15, I believe. And on these, I'm trying out 10 to see how I like that. Um, just wanna experiment a little with the different cuff lengths because I feel like on some of my cuffs, whenever they are like the 20 to 25 range, they kind of like slouch more or like kind of fold into the leg. So I'm just trying something different here to see if I like that better. Um, but I am obsessed with this striping, this yarn. I am working them both at once. I still need to order more nine inch circulars because these were on different pairs. But now that I have them free, this is the only sock I have on my needles right now. So I am working these both at once. Um, yeah, so I'm so excited, but how good is this yarn? And... <laughs> It's funny. So hang on, let me let me back up a bit. I did split them into skeins. It was a hundred gram, a little more than a hundred gram skein. And I just split it into two cakes as evenly as possible. I have this one coming, pulling from the center. So I have it in a yarn cozy. This is a pattern by Knitty Natty that I knit up. That way you can hold my cakes whenever you're doing a center pull. This one's just pulling from the outside. This one is a hot mess. I tried to wind this yarn. Well, I did wind this yarn yesterday, but it is one of those skeins where it looks nice on the outside, but it just does not want to wind well. It got, it kept getting tangled. It kept getting stuck somewhere whenever, like on one of the corners. I didn't feel like trying to keep twisting uh, the skein on the Swift. And then I tried, so I wound it into, just first caked it up on, you know, the initial from the skein to the cake. And then I wanted to split that cake in two. And so then I was trying to do that. And that's when I got super tangled. It was such a mess. I'm pretty sure there's like one super tight knot in here somewhere, but... <laughs> I was happy whenever I finally did get it wound. I literally was almost about to just cut up the last bit of it because I was so annoyed at the knot that I had created. But yeah, I would like to get those, squeeze in one more last pair of socks for summer sock camp. Um, which leads me into my goals for this coming week. So for the month of August, I have goals um, that I would like to hit. And of the remaining goals, I did want to finish two more pairs of socks for summer sock camp. So that scrappy socks was pair number one. So let me just show you. So I have a dot there and then move them down to my finished objects and now this last pair they're just going to be vanilla socks those will be pair number two 
to get done by the end of this month. And I think it's totally doable, especially since I just cast those on yesterday and I've already done that much. Um, I'm about probably about halfway through the length of the leg that I want. I think I'm going to make it a little bit longer than I usually do. Um, so we'll see. And then so goal number one for this coming week um, is to get through the heels on those socks. Um, my next goal is I want to finish a repeat in my Cali Vada shawl, the way it's broken up. Um, I'm in the part of the pattern where I have to repeat things a certain amount of times. And I would like to get through at least one repeat of that so I can make more progress. So that's my goal for this coming week. And we'll see how that goes. Um, and then goal number three for this week, I would like to at least pick up and work just even just like if it's a few stitches or one row or two rows, um, my square for my afghan. So I have an afghan sitting in this bag here. Um, it is part of a class that I was taking um, over this last year the classes ended but I am behind <laughs> and I just need to finish one last square that I can attach I'm not gonna show it check out last week's video I think I uh, episode I did show it in there but yeah that needs to get done uh yeah so those are my goals for this upcoming week <laughs> That's pretty much all I have for you this week. I feel like I got a lot of knitting done to finish that pair of socks, um, start a new one, and then my slow and steady progress on my Cali Vada shawl. So I'm hoping I have more on the Cali Vada shawl to show you next week and hopefully some heels. And fingers crossed that I can show you some progress on the last square of my afghan. So be sure to come back next week for that. Um, and then just thank you for those who come back each week. It's so fun to share my making and I hope that it is bringing you joy. Speaking of which, let's close this episode on out with my three simple joys over this past week. Simple joy at number one has been ice rolling my face. <laughs> and I used to do this more often and I don't know if it does anything. I think it's, I mean, there's science bet like behind like cold plunges and stuff like that but I just have like a ice roller that I've been rolling on my face this morning or not this well yes this morning but every morning this past couple this past few days this past week and it has been really nice so whether it's doing anything or not it feels really good on my face it helps me wake up and I am really enjoying starting my mornings that way simple joy number two is the sock yarn on the socks that I just started. I didn't know what the skein was going to do. I wish I would have taken a picture of it. I didn't even talk about the yarn. Uh, all caked up. It is <laughs> La Bien Ami. I don't know if it's La Bien Ame, Amy, but yeah. Um, and this is on her sock base merino super sock, which is 75 super wash, 25% nylon. The color is air guitar. And I just didn't realize like how it would stripe. I could tell something was happening whenever I was working the cuff, but this has just been so fun and makes knitting it so much more faster because it's like, okay, oh, I'm starting another stripe. Here it is. Like I'm starting another stripe. And so that's just been so much fun. And then uh, last simple joy for this week, and I feel like these are all just so random, um, is cleaning out my purse. I have been cleaning little spots and trying to clear up things here and there, um, like around the house and stuff and cleaning out my purse, especially with a baby. Like I had stale Cheerios in there, a random like wipe, like there's just, it was so much random receipts and yeah. So I cleaned it out, organized some stuff, and it was super nice and just feels better for my mental clarity. Okay, that's all I have for you. I need to get my day started. It's a busy day, lots to do today. Uh, and so until next time, stay caffeinated. <laughs>